Hey folks, Nitno here. A question I get a lot from new players is how to find their friends when they're playing. Meeting up with their friends can be frustrating and it's kind of clunky in Daisy. There is no party system and there's no spawn select in vanilla Daisy with no mods. This video will be going over a couple tips to make it easier to meet up with your friends. Firstly, make sure you're joining the same server. You can share your server name in Discord or even copy and paste the IP address of the server and paste it in Discord. Now that you're in the same server, we'll need to find your location. Navigate to the nearest town and look for a road sign. Signs can be found on the entrance and exit of a town. You can also look for the town name at train stations found along train tracks. Now that you know the name of the town, both you and your friend need to open up the website isurvive.com. In the box at the top left, type the name of the town. This website will then give you your location on the map. With both locations found, you can now decide on a midway point to meet at. I'd suggest meeting at a place such as a town or a city, because it will often contain a good amount of food and a water pump there. It is common that after a long journey to be thirsty and hungry. One of the most frustrating things that happens to new players is they finally meet up with their friend, but then they end up dying of starvation shortly after. If you are looking for a new player guide on how to survive a little bit longer, I do have a beginner guide. I'll link that at the top right now. Check that out if you're interested. Other ways to describe your location are landmarks such as lighthouses, radio towers, power lines, and castles. For instance, as an example, say you know your buddy's pretty close and you can say, do you see that castle in the distance? If he says yes, then he can go ahead and use that landmark as a way to meet up. Other helpful tools on your journey will include an in-game tourist stop that will display a map with a red dot on your location. Also, if you're able to find a compass, that will help you determine what direction you're going to be running. Let's say you know you're close to each other, but you still can't see each other. You can use an item such as a road flare or a glow stick. That can be helpful. Say, buddy, follow the light. Do you see that? And if they do, they can go ahead and meet up with you. If you're lucky enough to find a flare gun and ammo, commonly found on rowboats over on the coast, you can shoot the signal up way up in the air, and your friend should be able to see that from quite a far distance. Commonly on Tronarus, you will spawn on the coast. Following the train track can give you a good idea of which way you're heading. For example, if you are on the tracks and the ocean is on your right hand side, you'll be going east or north. If you are running down the railroad track and the ocean is on your left, you're either running south or west. On the DLC map Livonia, you often spawn by the river with a set of train tracks that run along the river. If you are on the tracks with the river on your left, you are running north or east. Whereas if the river is on your right hand side, you'll be running south or west. And lastly, on the map Namalsk, which is only for PC players currently, you'll spawn up north on the coast. For 90% of the spawns, if you're running along the coast with the water on your right, this will take you west. Running along the coast with the water on your left, that will take you east. On a final note, PC players do get some extra options in the way of mods. There are mods for both spawn select and party systems. When searching for a server, you can add spawn or party to the search and often a handful of servers will come up. The nice thing about spawn select is you can much more easily spawn at the same place with a friend. Servers with a party system allow you to see each other on the map and can make meeting up a lot easier. This is not the norm and it's not really true to the vanilla daisy experience, so often these servers will be more PvP oriented or just fun oriented and not so much the vanilla experience. Just a heads up. Alright, good luck out there guys. Enjoy daisy with your friends and have a blast. Try not to get too frustrated, it can be a frustrating game, 
Once you get over the first 50 hours or so, the gameplay really starts to click. Some of the most unique and organic video game moments I've ever had have happened in Daisy. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. As always, have fun in Daisy. Take it easy. Peace.